Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of More with Moros. Today's video is so exciting because I'm gonna be doing my first, well, I attempted to do a Halloween preparation video, but it was kind of a bust. I didn't film as much as I wanted to, so I wanna count this as my first party prep, show you guys how I plan my kids' birthdays party. Usually I have like the same method down unless we're having a birthday party outside of the home. So for this, birthday theme. We are doing Frozen. Mixture of Frozen 1, Frozen 2. Harlow is turning three years old. She is so into Frozen and obsessed with Elsa right now. She wants to wear her Elsa dress every single day. So of course we had to do an Elsa themed birthday or a Frozen themed birthday. So I wanted to take you guys from beginning to end how I plan prepare, set up everything. So first we're gonna start out with a haul and I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got. Actually, a majority of the stuff that I got on Amazon, which was great because it came in two days. So I'll leave a link down below to everything. There's a few things from Target and then some really cool stuff from a like party website. So I'll definitely make sure to link everything down below. We are actually gonna start part of the party prepping and decorating it tonight. Um, that way we're not overwhelmed tomorrow. Tomorrow's her birthday party and we can knock out a lot of the stuff. So I definitely want to get the balloon garland done tonight because honestly that takes the longest to set up, like blowing up all the balloons and putting it together, hanging it up. It takes such a long time. So we'll definitely get to that later tonight. I'll show you guys step-by-step step how to make a balloon garland. But first, like I said, I need to show you guys everything that we got for her party. So we are going to do a quick haul of everything for Harlow's party. I will be leaving, like I said, the links down below. So if I skip over something or if I go over something really fast, definitely look in the description down below. So we have some of these snowflake wands for the kids. Tape, a light up candle some ribbon for the balloons. We have some little weights for the balloons as well. You guys will see, I got a ton, a ton of balloons. And then this is actually a foil balloon sign that says, let it go. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that yet. Like I said, I got a ton of balloons. I thought these were really cool. I've never seen these before, these star burst balloons. So I had got a couple of those, an Olaf balloon, and then this was the shop that I was telling you guys, the online shop that had really cute stuff, like frozen stuff. But these are like little snowflakes, I think, if I can remember. And then this happy birthday cake topper has little snowflakes on it. Um, oh, these are like little frozen clip-ins. That's not part of the decorations. And then this ruffle tablecloth. So I plan on putting it at the bottom. And then I have a different focus. I have a different tablecloth to go on the top. So this is like the bottom part and then some snowflake balloons. Like I said, I got a lot of balloons. This is a banner. I'm not sure where I'm going to, there's a lot of things that I'm not sure where they're going to go. Usually whenever I'm decorating, I have like a general idea, but I sometimes will change things around or kind of decorate as I go. So not sure where some of the th stuff will go, but it'll definitely find a place. Some balloons, because like I said, I'm going to be making the balloon garland or banner and it's going to take a lot of balloons. I actually got these like little mini ones. That way there was like bigger and smaller balloons and it came in this really cool pack of different colors. And the thing about all the party stuff is like I I will always save and anything that I don't use. Let me show you guys. So I have two big storage bins full of party decorations. So whatever I don't use, I will store in here and most likely I'll use it another time. Like look, even more balloons. <laughs> I didn't realize how many balloons I have. And then this three balloon. and. The reason why there's gonna be a lot of balloons, we also got a helium tank. You can find those at Walmart. The reason why I got a lot of balloons as well because I will tie a whole bunch to these weighted, or these weights, and I'll just like put them throughout the house. You don't wanna buy a whole bunch of, <laughs> I say that, but then I bought a whole bunch of decorations. But you can't like decorate every part of the house. I feel like balloons is a good way to make it more decorated, if that makes sense. And then some garland tape or balloon arch tape, whatever you wanna call it. And then these really cute crowns for all the little girls or whoever wants to use them. Let's see, we have some more frozen balloons right there. Two more of these starburst balloons. And then I love these foil I don't know what you call them. They're like foil backdrops, and what my plan is to do is to close off this area right here, my office area, and put the backdrop all right here. And that way the balloon 
arch will go right here and it can be kind of like the centerpiece of the party. So I got these iridescent ones here, some cups. I found these clear blue uh, cup and plate set. Oh, and then I found these on Amazon. I thought this was so cute. So it's not frozen themed, but it says, do you want to build a snowman? And it has like this little kit inside. And ignore my tanner on my hands. I just realized how dark my hands look. Um, but I thought these were really cute for the kids to build during the party. And then this is also from that same birthday shop that I was telling you guys about. They had such cute stuff. So there's like these little party straws, napkins, plates, and also there was another thing that I got. I got some confetti. I don't have no idea where it went, but I also got confetti to go onto the table. So this is the other part of the tablecloth that I was telling you guys. So this sequence tablecloth will go onto the top. I'm hoping that the way that I'm picturing it, it will look good, hopefully. And then I also got these, they're like paper snowflake hanging decorations to hang. I think I'm gonna do it with the foil backdrop, like make it look like there's snowflakes coming down and maybe in other doorways of the house as well. Oh, and then this is also another set of plates. I don't think, I don't know if, I might just end up saving this because I don't think that we're gonna need any more plates. It also came with knives, spoons, and forks. I almost, I, they were hidden over there and I was like, wait, I totally forgot to get silverware, but it comes with it as well. And also another thing, they had so many different colors. So if you have a different party, or a different theme, definitely check this out because it was pretty inexpensive for everything that you get and you can get different colors. More balloons for the garland. I think this is actually like a frozen set that, yeah, I think it is. It came with the balloons, so we have some snowflakes in there. We even have some clear snowflake balloons, which is really cute. Some more foil for the backdrop. And you guys will kind of see how I use this as I go and then more snowflakes and then I'm gonna do a whole different segment with all the party favors. Whenever I put those together, I'll film all of that stuff. So I think what I definitely want to get done tonight is the balloon garland because that is going to take the longest. And as long as I can get that done, I feel pretty good and then I can do the rest in the morning. But, oh, and the backdrop. Do the backdrop, try to get the balloon done and at least the table cloths on the table. Yeah. Is that pretty good? I'm actually gonna do a voiceover as I'm putting the, bar the balloon garland together. That way you guys can get a step-by-step -step process on how to make it. It's actually pretty easy. It's not hard at all. We just need the balloon tape, balloons, and that's it. Oh, and you're gonna definitely need one of these because you don't want to blow up every single balloon by yourself. I. I haven't done that yet, but one year I did use a balloon pump and that took them too long. Definitely get yourself an electric balloon pump. I promise you it will not take you as long if you are doing it by yourself or with a hand pump like I did one time and that was a huge mistake. So definitely get yourself an electric balloon pump if you're going to be doing a balloon garland. So it is almost 9 o'clock. Let's see how long this will take. Cue the time lapses. Huh? No, it's gonna take a longer than an hour. Cue the time lapses. All right, so to get started on the balloon garland, you're going to need three things. Well, technically four, if you're including how you're going to secure it, but we'll get to that in later in the video. But you're going to need three things. So you're gonna need balloons, of course, a electric pump. Like I told you guys, you do not wanna do this manually. And then balloon tape. So basically it is kind of like tape, but it is a long strip of plastic with holes all along the side of it. That way you can push the balloons or the bottom of the balloons through them. They'll stay onto the garland. I think the reason why people are so, I guess, intimidated on making them is because it does seem like a very daunting task. And even though it is simple, it does take a lot of time. I would say the only downside to balloon garland is that it does take a really long time. I'm laughing at Piper, which is Aria's friend. She spent the night, uh, the night before the party and she couldn't sleep, so she stayed up helping me with the balloons. But it does take a long time, but it's very, very easy to make. So you guys can see, I'm just adding a balloon. You can kind of see the tape in this clip right here. It just has holes all the way down, and you just stick the ends of the balloon through them. And I'll just alternate different colors. I try to have a pattern of colors, and then I'll put some smaller balloons in there just to kind of give it some dimension and fill in some of the spaces. I will say my number one tip when it comes to making a balloon garland is don't make your balloons super, super Super big. I think these were almost a little bit too big because when you put them next to each other, they're gonna have a lot of gaps and that's kind of why I put a lot of the smaller balloons in there, but you want them to kind of sit 
close together, if that makes sense. You want them very, very close together so you're not seeing any gaps or spaces or seeing the tape. So making them a little bit smaller, like a medium sized balloon, I would say, is gonna give you the best results. But I will say, even though it takes me a really long time to make this, I would say roughly around 45 minutes to an hour. It's so worth it because you guys can see it has such a pretty look to it. I feel like it adds so much to a party. Now I want to learn how to do like a spiral garland. Have you guys ever seen like those balloon arches and they kind of like spiral the balloons with two different colors? I need to figure out how to do that. I need to figure out how to do different designs and everything because I really do enjoy this kind of stuff. I was telling Frank, I'm like in the future, I might do event planning or at least something like that because I love this whole process so much. All right, so how I usually secure the balloon garland is I will take the bigger command hooks and hook them onto the wall or wherever you're gonna put it just because it will not damage your wall at all. But I'll also leave like a long strip of garland tape like before the balloons and after the balloons. That way I have plenty of space to hang them. So um, I'll hang one side of course on the command strips and then what I'll do is I'll take a ribbon. You see right here, I just took some ribbon and I'm going to tie it around the balloons like where the tape is and then tie it up and then hook it onto another command hook. So I use a total of two command hooks, one at the very beginning and then one at the middle, like you guys saw, because then after that, you can kind of let them dangle down. I guess depending on where you're putting it will also depend on how you do it. But that's the best way that I have found to do it. So if you guys have a better way, you'll have to let me know. So like I told you guys, I am putting a foil backdrop right here to kind of block off the office from like where the party is going to be. Uh, but first I'm putting the paper snowflakes down because I want it to be on top of the foil background, if that makes sense. Um, these are so cute. I wish I would have added them more places. I didn't have time. I ran out of time, but I wish I would have added them in the doorways or even hung them from stuff or maybe decorated them on the stairs, like just hung them. I wish I would have because I had so many left over. So I'm definitely gonna save them and maybe use them for a different party in the future. Um, but I thought these were really cute and fun and I'm just also taping everything on the wall behind and then adding the foil backdrop, which I will say the foil backdrop uh, has like a little sticky that you just peel off and then you can just stick onto the wall. I was also going to say that you could just stick these right onto the wall. You don't necessarily have to stick them on a place like I have, but I think the reason why I love them so much and love using them in birthday parties or any kind of party is because it makes a really cute backdrop to get family pictures with or you know with your friends, the birthday girl, the birthday boy. I just think it makes really cute pictures. Right, guys so it is the next morning and I was gonna go ahead and show you guys everything that we've gotten done so far there's still so much more to do but at least like the most time-consuming parts are already done so let me show you all right so here is how the backdrop turned out so I made a little bit of a boo-boo when I used the balloon garland tape I cut it a little too short because I wanted it to come all the way down here. So what I'm going to do instead is take some helium balloons, tie them with a little bit of ribbon and this weight and put them in that corner just so it kind of looks more, let me back up a little bit, so it looks a little bit fuller. And then the only thing we've done with the table so far is put the, the kids have been messing with it so I need to fix that, uh, is the tablecloth on and like the table skirt and I'm still unsure of what I'm gonna do with this table. I know I'm gonna put the let it go balloons right here, probably a few other decorations. Like I said, I usually just kind of decorate as I go. But put these things together, these are really, really pretty. And there's like 101 balloons to put or to fill up. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same foil backdrop here. Maybe do it over here. Uh, above the fireplace and then usually since we have this huge island right here this will be where all of the food goes we also have a face painter coming so i think this might be the best spot to put 
the face painter. What do you think, Frank, right here? Or maybe in the living, I don't know. I have no idea yet. So like I was telling you guys, we got our own helium tank. We ended up getting the jumbo size one. And actually we didn't get to show it in this video, but we had to get a second one because of the bigger balloons. Like for example, Olaf was a really big balloon that we had to blow up. Um, but what I was gonna say, if you guys can do it and if you have time to do it yourself, I definitely suggest it. I think it was 20, $25 for the helium tank. They also have a smaller one as well if you're not gonna be blowing up that many balloons. But that way you don't have to worry about picking them up. You can do them in your house. House. you don't have to worry about shoving them into the car so just another little party hack for you guys because I used to get my balloons at Party City all the time and it was just a hassle to go get them and put them in the car and have to deal with all that so I really like that you can just buy helium tanks at Walmart for pretty inexpensive and then just do it all at home and like I said we did have to buy a second one so if you're gonna be blowing up like foil balloons or bigger balloons uh, rather than like a standard smaller size balloon I would definitely get two also it was really random because we got those star balloons and for some reason they didn't blow up I don't know why I don't I think maybe the balloon was too heavy I have no idea but um, I just had to note that it's just so you guys didn't think like what the heck is going on why didn't that balloon blow up so what I ended up deciding for the let it go balloons the foil balloons I just strung a ribbon through them and decided to tape them in front of the window I think this is a really cute idea to put anywhere you could put it on a wall you can hang it from anything I got those on Amazon for pretty inexpensive too and I was able to personalize it instead of having to buy all the balloons separately so again I will be leaving that link down below because I had no idea that I could personalize balloons on Amazon and I thought they turned out really really cute and I also suggest getting a hand pump as well obviously you wouldn't want to use that for the balloon garland but for smaller balloons like the foil ones or letter balloons they definitely come in handy First want to say Aria and Piper were such a huge huge help with the party decorating and helping me out any way they can so they were really happy and excited to put the treat boxes together I found those on Amazon as well because um, it got them involved and they were able to put everything into each box so I'll show you guys another clip as well but to give you guys some ideas for party favors or if you guys want to have a frozen party as well I found some frozen Pez dispensers on Amazon so I thought those were really cute it came with the little candies as well so I put those in there some mini play-doh confetti play-doh it's like a little smaller size play-doh and then also invisible pens those are really cool because they're like pens but you can only see it when you had, had like a little flashlight on it so you can only see it when you had uh, the light flashing over it and the kids really like those and then some wind up Olaf toys You just wind them up and then they walk and then I got some frozen tattoos off Amazon as well But they did not come in time unfortunately or I would have also put those in there as well All right, so here's everything that we have set up so far So we have the let it go sign over here I'm trying to play around with the lettering because I'm not sure how to make it look proportionate Of course we have the balloon banner and we blew up a whole bunch of frozen balloons. I don't have anything set up right here right now. We have some frozen cookies that are gonna go right there, a cake, and we have all the, the wands, the crowns. We still have a lot more to do, a lot more food planning and prepping, and I have to get all the drinks ready. So now I'm just setting out the food and I'm about to get the drinks ready here in a second. But like I just said in the previous clips, I usually put all of the food on our big island that way, kind of like a buffet style. That way everybody can walk around and get their food. And um, I put the plates and silverware over there as well. But I wanted to show you guys the drinks that I had for the party because these dispensers, I think that's what they're called. I'm not really sure what the exact name is. I'm like blanking right now, but they come in handy with parties so much because you can just go over there, get your drink. So I had some lemon and mint water, and then I also made some frozen punch and it turned out really, really good. The kids loved it. I think it was only one liter of Sprite a whole gallon of blue Hawaiian punch and then two cups of pineapple juice.
But yeah, you guys, that is pretty much everything that I did for Harlow's birthday, the preparation, the haul. And if you do have any questions or if I'm forgetting to mention anything, definitely leave your comments down below. Again, I will be leaving as many links as I can in the description. I just wanted to show you guys uh, some video overlay or some B-roll of the party and how it turned out and some of the decorations. I feel like we could have done a little, little bit more, but we did run out of time. You guys, if you ever done a party or kids party you know that it can be very very time consuming there's a lot of time energy effort money that goes into it even though i think sometimes parties these days even mine included could be a little extra some you know people might not think that they are necessary but i honestly do it this way because i genuinely love to decorate the whole process everything it can be very stressful but i love the whole planning process. It's just something I enjoy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in our next More With Moros video. Bye guys.